Hey everyone, today I'm going to be working on an iPhone 6 that was sent here for a botched repair rescue after it was left with no power after an attempted um, touch failure. I'm going to bet that it's actually the screen that caused the touch issues to start with and that the board never had a board level touch issue, but let's see what's going on here. So, the first thing I'm going to do is assume that the customer is right here in a sense that this phone will not power on because if it would, not, if it would power on, I don't think they would have mailed it all the way around the world. Although, um, stranger things have happened. And we are just going to have a quick look at this thing. I, do, I really don't know what I'm getting into. You know, a lot of times on these previous repair attempts, it just it just depends on what I'm getting into. I'm going to try to do as little as possible to figure out what I'm getting into. Because if it turns out to be something that I don't want to get into, I want to know about that as soon as possible and not like at the end of the game. Uh, so, so far all of our screws look good. I don't see any long screws in the wrong holes. Everything's in the right spot there, but that not, that's not to say that it wasn't already corrected before it made it here. So, let's get rid of this plate. Let's get rid of this plate. Let's get rid of the screen. And let's move right in for a uh, microscope evaluation here. Let's see what we are up against. Wow, i got all kinds of cool stuff showing up on our on-screen display, which we're not going to be using that right now. Okay, I don't see any immediate lung screw damage. I see a ton of pry marks here along the display connector this stuff all chunked up, but that, that don't look too bad. Um, we got some poking that went along, went on up here. I do see what looks like um, flux all over up here. So this thing has definitely be, been heated. Let's get the board out of it. Actually, yeah, let's get the board out of it. This is a prior repair attempt. We don't know what, what we're up against here, man. This, this could be anything. There we go. This could be anything. Anybody's guess. I am happy to see that it doesn't have a SIM card in it. That means that somebody anticipated being without a phone. Now I do realize I could leave this little bracket on here, but as you know, I flip these boards over on their face and I tape them to the, to the table, and I worry about bending that bracket whenever I do that. Alright, that's all that. Our board should be free and clear. Let's see what we're up against. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That would have been a mistake. Can't count how many boards I've had sent here with fractures across that screw hole because they were... Did I lose track of all my screws? Yeah, I did. I put them in the wrong spots. Don't tell no one. All right. No power after touch failure. It's got a big bulky tape bulge there on the back. Let's get rid of that. Alright, 
let's go back. Uh, let's go directly back after microscope. And let's see what we're up against. We know the hot air was used on this because they told me. Oh. Oh man, this thing got way too hot. Way, way, way. Like, look at the, look C5202 RF. See along the Wi-Fi I see? Now everything up here has been melted. And also, we've got this one ball right here that has pushed out of the Wi-Fi I see. Let's see if we can get it out of this little hole that it came out of. It's gone. Uh, that might have been shortened something together there, but yeah, look at all these loose balls on all these. This is this is a mess. It is a mess whenever they've been heated like that. So that makes me want to go back and have another look at this thing topside. I mean, that's that's really bad. Yeah, see, that's what I'm expecting. Here we are topside, and topside, I'm seeing balls popped out all over the place now. So we got balls popped out over here. We got balls popped out here. We got balls popping out all, all over the place. This one is such a mess. Even if I do fix it, is it going to have Wi Fi? What else is going to be wrong with this phone? What shorted? I think we better have a look under the CPU cover. I really do. So let's go ahead and pull that cover off the phone. If it was a 6 plus I would have already said no fix but it's a 6 they seem to be a little more resilient as far as components not popping loose because of heat on the other side of the board let's see, no microscope all right let's start heating the shield up and then I'll move the board so I can get it under the microscope And do all this to fix this board and then we're going to find out that is actually the screen that's faulty and was causing the touch issues. Alright, let's have a look at this thing and see what all's going on under the hood. Okay, and there is... Uh, God, uh, guys, this is a no fix. I mean, this has to get sent back to my customer as a no fix. Like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. If we've got this sort of damage alongside the CPU, I mean, look at this thing. We've got, you know, this here, this, this is what a one V eight line or, a, you know, it's, yeah, balls out from under the CPU here. We have got balls everywhere. Now, you have to work really hard to short one this bad, like to, to heat one this far. You have to use shit tons of heat. Now, normally, like any of these balls touching between, between these components is enough to cause this thing to not power on. Uh, but we've got balls squeezing out from under the CPU. This, this thing's screwed. This is like a piece of wire. Like, what the hell? There's like a piece of wire hooked to this ball. Where did that come from? An earring or something on microscopic scale that's even smaller than like a Barbie earring so when you start getting these things touching like this ball down in here that's touching the cap on that capacitor now I don't know if that's allowed to touch because I'm not looking at the schematic and I'm probably not going to either on this one because this is just this is too much to get into this is an absolute total chaotic disaster and it's just it's just way too much heat now, normally when they get sent here not powering on after touch failure, I am used to seeing, you know, a ball squeezed out between an inductor and the ground on a cap. 
like I don't know if that's what this is I really don't know what these components are but I'm used to seeing like a ball squeezed out and it's it's touching ground let's see we don't want to crack that IC because then I'll get blamed for it so it's it's touching ground or it's hooking one power line to another that that's really common to have one power line hooked to another after touch IC previous repair attempt because balls squeeze out and they touch all over the place so here is another ball over here squeezed out right next to what is it a strobe driver hell I don't, I don't even know oh man we got balls here like somehow we've just man we've just got balls everywhere Th this is a mess you know, even if I did fix this, like if I get this to boot, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to say that everything works. So, this one is no power after a previous touch IC repair attempt. And it is one that I'm not planning on taking on. I'm, this this evaluation here is going to be the end of this repair. I'm going to have to put the shield back on it and, and put this one back together. This one's, uh, can I fix it? Yeah. But am I going to spend the amount of time that it's going to take to reball the CPU and, you know, all this time for a big fat maybe? No way in hell. So, that is going to be the end of this failed repair attempt. I might be able to fix it, but I'm not going to. i got too much stuff going on to deal with this many balls. So, that's it for this video. I hope your repairs are more successful than this one because this really sucks. And um, I'll see you next time. Have a good day, everybody.